good afternoon students this video is in regarding the practical file that the practical exam and the revision video of the observations that you already performed in your practical file so in this exam the very first topic is that your dry heating so what is the meaning of this topic that is dry heating dry heating simply means that whenever a substance is heated in a test tube the substance is heated in a test tube without the use of any of the substance that is any of your solid any of the solution or any of the solvent or any of the water or without any reason directly it is heated in the test tube and that is called as dry heating so we have many of the substances many of the salts in our syllabus the first one salt is your copper carbonate that is cuco3 and on it is a dry it is a light green color substance and further on heating on its dry heating the delta symbol shows you the heating is converted into cuo and that cuo is a black color oxide formed that is a black color oxide form along with there is a release of co2 gas so this is the your first part that is the first compound given right the and it is written here on decomposition of copper carbonate it is releasing a light green color because it is present in the light green color salts which is further changes to black color oxide that black color oxide is formed and the, these are the residues substance and the release of co2 gas will occur that further realization of CO2 CO2 gas will occur. Next is your zinc carbonate. That is the zinc carbonate, which is a white color solid substance. And further, this white color solid substance on heating converted it into zinc oxide plus release of CO2 will occur. And there is a formation of pale yellow color substance. That zinc oxide is a pale yellow color substance which is when when it is present in the hot situation when this substance is present as in a hot situation it is pale yellow in color but as such as it become called it is again converted into the white solid substance when it become called in the cold situation if it is in a cold situation it again converted into a white color substance that it will a white color substance will form when it is called in nature clear this thing so i I hope this is clear on dry heating of zinc carbonate the colorations of salt is pale yellow now it color changes to pale yellow color of ZnO and CO2 gas is also released along with this thing right okay moving on to its next salt that is washing soda its formula is Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O that is Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O on heating this is a symbol of heat must come here on heating further it is converted into Na2CO3 and 10 H2 water molecules are released out and the observation is just some small amount of water molecules must appear on the wall of the test tube along the wall of this test tube this is the test tube washing soda is present here heating we are giving so just water vapors are present there so that is the washing soda crystals are formed in that part that washing soda crystals are formed only next one is the cuso4 that is copper sulfate pentahydrate it is copper sulfate pentahydrate which is also known as your blue vitriol because it is blue in color that we called it blue vitriol that is called as blue vitriol which is blue in color direct direct dark blue in color that is usually present in our lab aur mujhe lagta hai ki aapne dekha bhi hai isko lab mein so it is as blue in color this is cuso4.5 h2 the blue color substance on heating on heating its five water molecules are removed out and there is a formation of white color formed of wet five color substances due to the cuso4 which is present as anhydrous substance that is an anhydrous salt present because we know this dot 5h2o means you the water of crystallization this is the water of crystallization present so this this substance formed is your uh, white color substance that is removal after the removal of water molecules so that is a water of crystallization present we know this thing we already studied in our chapter that this is called as water of crystallization that is the water of crystallization present okay i hope this is clear to you now next topic is your zinc nitrate so in the zinc nitrate when you are heating zinc nitrate firstly zinc nitrate plus 6 h2o is formed 
Later on, this zinc nitrate, which is white color substance on heating, converted into a pale yellow substance, and along with this pale yellow substance, a reddish brown fumes are also originating due to this NO2 gas. That nitrogen dioxide gas will always forms reddish brown fumes. This nitrogen dioxide gas will always forms reddish brown fumes. Now next is your copper carbonate. In the copper carbonate, the same thing is there. Six water molecules of crystallizations are there, and that water molecules of crystallizations are converted into six H two molecules are releasing out firstly. That is same pattern. जो test tube की जो wall है, उसके पास आपके पास में release होगा. तो they are releasing on the side wall of the test tube. And further, that copper nitrate, that bluish green color substance, will converted into CuO, which is we know this thing that is a black color substance. And releasation of further NO2 gas, and we also know this thing. This NO2 gas is reddish brown gas. So there is a reddish brown gas formed along with the black color substance. Next we have a salt that is ammonium chloride. So ammonium chloride on heating, it is NH uh, ammonia gas will release along with HCl gas will release. But when it is cooled down, that is when it is cooled down, again a white color substance is formed. So what is the observation which you observe? So we are observing that dense white fumes are formed. That dense white fumes are formed, and that dense white fumes are the observations when we are heating our ammonium chloride substance, right? So next one is the lead nitrate. That is the most important one because many times it must come in your theory exam as well as in your practical exam also. Look at that lead nitrate. So this lead nitrate is a substance on which on heating. Having the formula PbNO3 whole twice on heating, it is converted into PbO along with a reddish brown gas will be released, and we know this thing: the NO2 gas will give you a reddish brown gas. And the best mm, thing is about this uh, lead nitrate uh, decomposition or its heating is that it is always giving you a crackling sound. On its uh, burning, जैसे ही वो burn करेगा, there is a production of this crackling sound, and that phenomena by in chemistry when the whenever a salt is heated up or dried salt is heated up, and if there is a crackling sound is present, that phenomena is called as decipitation. That phenomena is known as decipitation. You know what? Whenever if there is a production of substance in a chemical reaction, that is called as precipitation. That is called as your precipitation. And if it this this thing will come, if this thing will come, when there is a sound present in the substance, if there is a, on dry heating, if there is a sound present, so that phenomena is known as decipitation. The next one is about the iodine. In the iodine, it is a so violet color solid substance. Upon heating, it always produces violet vapors. It always produces violet vapors. That is the case of your iodine. Okay. So the next one is your ammonium dichromate. That is NH four whole twice Cr two O seven. On heating, it will give you a greenish color red residue, which is called as chromium oxalate. This is chromium trioxide, and along with release of this N two gas plus four water molecules are there. Right, and this salt is you. This salt is a orange color solid substance that is a very beautiful orange color present there, and a very crystalline substance. Some shines are also there along with this orange color, and that is used in many many types of experiments. As you already see in our science exhibition tour, there is a volcano experiment, and in that volcano experiment, we are using the ammonium dichromate. That is ammonium dichromate. Ammonium dichromate, a orange color substance, we are using in that. ठीक है? तो हम लोग उसमें use करते हैं. So you know what? See uh, the light uh, sub uh, in the volcano experiment. Many uh, colored substances are originating. Like an, they are electing out like an a volcano. So like the volcano, they are electing out, right? So same with this, along with these things, you know what the observations? What you need to observe, just observe the observations. Observation simply means that the physical things which you are seeing on just 
ड्राइंग अप दूर सॉल्ट जब आप ड्राई अप कर रहे हो तो आपको क्या दिखाई दे रहा है दैट इज दी ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट यू नीड टू बी नोटिफाई वट यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग इन दैट सो अ वेरी गुड लक अ विश यू अ वेरी वेरी गुड लक फॉर योर प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम जस्ट डू प्रैक्टाइज ऑल द थिंग्स एंड वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग डू नॉट नीड टू लर्न द रिएक्शन तो सो नो प्लीज नो फॉर द रिएक्शन और द इक्वेशन तो इक्वेशन लाइन नहीं करना है आपको प्लीज डू नॉट गो विद द इक्वेशन इक्वेशन को लर्न मत कीजिएगा एंड जस्ट ओनली गो अलोंग विद यूर ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट वॉट यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग ऑन द ड्राई हीटिंग दैट वॉट इज द चेंज इन कलर एंड वट इज द कंपाउंड विल फॉर्म एंड वट आर फर्दर ऑब्जर्वेशंस दैट इफ इट इज कोल्ड एंड वेन इट इज गेट होट देन वट आर द चेंजेस कमिंग देयर ओके आई होप नाउ दिस इज फाइन and it is the uh, it is your chapter number 9 exercise number b chapter 9 exercise b of your book and already all the salts are giving there and completely all the salts are the part of your syllabus so thank you so much and a very wish you a very good luck for your exam take care